Hey team, thanks for joining Nicole and I on Gravity's Powering Up. You've already experienced the sequence that we're going to run through with you now, which is the speed sequence for the lunges. So let's work with Nicole. Remember, you've got your clients here, and we start with a 2-2 lunge. Now have a listen. We've got the music on in the background because this is the same pace that we were working through, or we're working with in our workout. You ready? Go. Lunge and up. So, really simple here, fantastic movement of the glide board that's challenging Nicole's stability around her hip. We're looking at what's happening in her core. And also the peripheral sensors here, the eyes and ears. We've got four more, nice and steady. And also, this foot that's on the floor, the ankle, knee and hip, all need to work together. So we want to see good work here. How stable is our point of base? Then what did we do here? We did the lunge, tip forward. So we tipped, pressed, in. Uh oh. <laughs> Press in. Okay, now you might be remember the option that we could do here is as we keep going, is if you want to put one hand on the thigh. So if Nicole comes down, puts her hands on the thigh, then presses back, then comes up. So it's just a lunge, extend, in. Or we can go all the way. Down. Yep. You've got one more. Let's get your hands on the floor this time. Okay, now here it is. Now straight up, jump, go, jump. Press. Now the easy, just get going. So now we've got this explosive power frying up and have a break. All right. So that's the sequence that we did in the Powering Up DVD. What we've got the opportunity now is, as we're recovering, is to think about ways that we can progress this movement series. So our first obvious choice is using our arm drivers. So let's just do stage one of the 2-2 lunge. So we've got this lunge. Good to go. Yep. When the arms are in close and everything's tight, our center of balance is more contained and we feel a lot more secure, which is good. But we need to open up that area of um, uncomfort or caution or take us out of our comfort zone. So what we can start to do now is to maybe raise our arms and have a look where those hands go. So as soon as Nicole looks somewhere else, it tells her body that something different's happening. She has to rely on different sensors to maintain her balance. With a bilateral movement, we have a sense of balance. But as soon as we start to use a unilateral movement, we then add that next part onto the piece that's going to challenge us. So as you can see here, Nicole's doing it with some external rotation, turning around to the side. We want to keep that midsection strong. Have a breather, Nicole. Right. Good job. So our first option is to after you've done that series and they're really competent with it, then develop it with some arm drivers. Once the arm drivers have a tick next to it and our guys are feeling really cool with it, let's look at playing along with what we can do with our lower limbs because it is a lunge series. So, Nicole's done the series where she's moved her arms, she's done the reach down, that sprinter prep, she's done the jump, and her foot still remains on the glide board. So let's take something in front here. How about a big lunge forward and then a pause. Big lunge forward. So we've come out of some heart rate work here, lovely. And then as you start to prep, get the toe back up on the glide board now. So take it from the floor onto the glide board behind. <laughs> Step forward, go. Down and here. Different sense of perception, different part of awareness. All right, we're gonna take it from the forward. Now as soon as Nicole's toe hits that glide board, she goes back. Big lunge, straight back. Yes, here we go. So, as you can see now, we're using the body out forward here, sagittally, and then we take it behind us, big steps. So, if we progress this, what could Nicole do to start challenging the intensity of her workout? Uh -huh. Yeah, use those arm drivers. Start to play with the body in space. Yeah, feel the control, add the rotation. Very nice. Ah! <laughs> Woo! Nice. So, nice. so guys, when you're looking at this series, remember that we're mixing up strength and speed to look up power. That little part in the middle where we do those plyometric or explosive power jumps is where we're getting maximum velocity. It's almost like athletic training. So the heart rate will go up, and as soon as we challenge our cardiovascular system, we'll then find it has an impact on everything else. Our form, our ability to maintain the movement pattern, our ability to control what we're doing, our ability to concentrate on the movement. 
So we want to put all those pieces together in this chain so that we can create a great compound movement pattern that's going to really help us power up our workout. So your job is to do what Nicole and I have done, practice it, play with it, experience what it's like, and then introduce it into your already experienced gravity participants in their powering up workout. Sound like a good plan? Have fun. <laughs>